Hey, what's going on guys? Well Purpose Fishing here today with a product fishing review. Now today I have a company called Bagley Baits that have sent me four of their top lures for me to do reviews of. Now let me tell you a little about bit a little bit about what I got today. Today I have their Knocker B, which is a topwater bait. Then I have the Bagley Spin Tail, which is a topwater, also a jerk bait. And then I have their Sunny B05, which is a crankbait. And then I have their Rattling Honey B, which is a square bill crankbait. Now I'm gonna get a little bit in depth on what these lures are and how I would use these personally. So why not just start out with their top water baits, but more importantly, the Knocker B. Set that over there. Let me tell you a little bit about this Knocker B. This is the perfect top water walking bait. This is their shad color. It has purple, uh, more of a teal and a blue on top. You can see better in the picture that I put up right now. And uh, it also has a little bit of orange underneath along with the dot on the side. Then the other thing that I like about this bait is the feather that it has on the back. This little feather on the end makes a huge difference. If it was not there, you definitely would not as get as many strikes as you do while it is there. Now, the thing that I like most about this is how loud the rattle is it, how loud the rattle is inside this bait. Listen to it. That's one of the reasons it's called the knocker bee, because whenever you walk the dog with this bait, it makes the a little puff noise every time you walk it. And that's one of the best things about this. The knock in the bait will just drive the bass crazy. So this is their Knocker B top water walking bait. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is their Bagley Spin Tail. Uh, more, it's uh, shag color, silver with black on the top, blue, uh, red underneath. You can see in the picture I just put up. Uh, this is also a jerk bait. However you choose to use it, it can be top water or jerk bait. It'll go down to three feet if you choose. Uh, it has a little spin on the end, which uh, which is really works really well. Makes a lot of um, disturbance to the surface of the water, and that'll really attract the bass. Um, so that's one of the things I like most about this. Um, how I'd work it: walk the dog, or just use it as a jerk bait. And the way that I use my jerk baits is I'll reel twice and then I'll jerk it. And that's how I would use this, and this is the Bagley Spin Tail. That's enough of their top water. Um, let's go ahead and move into their crankbaits. So I have their Sunny B05. Now this is more of a deep diver. It's going to dive about uh, 6 to 7 feet, and it weighs um, 3 eighths of an ounce. So uh, it's definitely going to get out there. Um, it has really good action. I like the bill. The bill on it, you can be, you'll be able to see more in this picture. The bill is more skinny to the end and fatter at the base. It causes for an awesome action under the water. Um, so yeah, this is more of their shad color. And uh, it has great vibration whenever you're reeling it in. And it's uh, really realistic um, with its colors. And this is really just going to dominate this time of the year because you have the bass in the fall time, which are they're going to be moving up shallow, chasing those bait fish. So throwing this uh, close to rocks and structure um, is really going to be where the bass are, and it's going to just work really well there. So that is the Sunny B05. Let's move on to the last bait that I have, which the last bait is the Rattling Honey Bee 1. Now, this little cute thing right here is a square bill, uh, and it looks exactly like a craw. Um, it's got orange uh, on the front of the bill, yellow underneath, and then it's a, more of a brown craw is the uh, color to it. Um, this is going to be a three to four feet deep uh, crankbait. And just because it's small doesn't mean it's not going to catch big fish. This will definitely uh, help you catch a variety of fish. You'll be able to catch those smaller bass and you'll be able to catch the bigger bass because the bigger bass can just suck this right in. Um, so like I said, three to four feet. Once again, uh, this is going to work really well in the fall time because they're chasing the schools of bait fish. And you're probably wondering, well, this one looks like a craw. But the bass are still chasing those craws. Uh, the last like five or six bass that I've caught have all had craws in their mouth. So that's why this one's going to work so well. You're going to want to throw this sucker up by rocks because that's where the craw, the crawdads are going to be really um, crawling through is the rocks and the bass are going to be up there searching for these. So I would throw these up on rocks is where I think it would work best. That's all the baits I got. 
Uh, once again, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Bagley Bates for sending me these lures just so I can do a review over them and tell you all about them. Now, there will be a link to Bagley Bates in the description so that you can go get your own. Um, that's really all I got for this. If you enjoy this, you can go ahead and click right there to subscribe, and you can also click there for my Livingston Lures product review. That's all I got for you today, guys. I'm One Purpose Fishing, and I would love, love, love to thank you for watching. Cut. Okay. You, you can end it with have a nice day. You can stop that one. Pretty good, right? You really gotta.